This time of the year, we typically would get about 4,500 visitors per day on average throughout the week. We still have people here working who are critical to the institution. They're taking care of 12,000 animals. We're all multitasking, making sure that these animals are getting the best care that, that we can give them. We're essentially operating as if we were still open to the public, but the public is not here, and that is very strange. This virus outbreak has had a major effect on, on the aquarium. 75% of all of our operating revenues comes from admissions and admission-related expenditures. The animals don't take a vacation. They have to be cared for. The water quality has to be maintained. We're still checking on the health of our animals every day, preparing diets, feeding, doing uh, maintenance on our exhibits, diving, medical procedures, treatments. A lot of what we're doing is just keeping exhibits clean. Uh, we're making sure everyone's getting fed and everything that they could possibly need. Because we have a third of our staff here, that means we all have to work together. They work in teams and we stage those teams so that they're not uh, on site in the same area at the same time. We have to also have a few key people here because we're making online programs so that everybody who is sequestered at home will have something to watch. Hi friends, welcome back to the Daily Bubble. We bring programs that are for pre-K all the way up to gray aquatic forms. There are a series of live cameras so, so that people can just go on and watch the animals and what they're doing to cope with this, this crisis. When people are allowed to go back out, they will want to go to museums, aquariums, science centers, and zoos. We want to be ready so that when we are able to open, we can open with great fanfare, and uh, we hope then that everybody will come back.